Hey guys, this is AJ with Indiana Prototyping. This is my second video in a series of videos that's designed to teach you guys the fundamentals of Fusion 360. Today, we will be learning about the Revolve tool to make a handle for this file. Uh, let's go over to Fusion 360 to get started here. So the first, so we're gonna use the Revolve tool. The Revolve tool, like many tools, starts off with a sketch. So we're gonna hit sketch, and then we get to choose what plane to put it on. Now remember, a sketch is much like a drawing, a flat draw, drawing on a sheet of paper. Uh, so we wouldn't get to choose where to put our sheet of paper. I always like to put it on the bottom here to start off with. Uh, you can think of that as putting it on the floor. We click that. And now we're looking straight down at our floor. We want to decide how big we want to make our handle to start off with. Um, so we'll go back over here. I'm going to grab my calipers and I'm going to measure this. Uh, I want the handle to be a little bit longer than the shaft here. Um, that looks pretty reasonable to me. Let's call that. 2.2 uh, inches. And since right now Fusion is set up in millimeters and my calipers are inches, we're going to change Fusion to inches. So let's go back to Fusion. Click Units, Change Active Units. We're going to change that to inches. I do like millimeters better, to be honest, but the pair of calipers I have handy is in inches. Um, so now we're in inches. Let's go ahead and we're going to make a construction box. This construction box is just going to give us a foundation or a, a reference on how to size everything. So I'm just going to click it, kind of generally the right size. Then we're going to select it and hit this button right here. Uh, it's labeled normal slash construction. And we click that and that makes that a construction line. You see how it goes dotted? That means it's not actually in our model. Um, if we try to extrude it or evolve it, this line would not extrude or resolve, revolve. Uh, and it, doing that keeps uh, Fusion from being confused later, but it gives us a reference on how big to make things. So we wanna go ahead and put dimensions on that so we can you know, set that to the right size. So we said 2.2 inches, so 2.2, enter. And we need to figure out how wide to make it. So the Revolve tool um, spins it around an axis. It spins it around a center point like that. And when it spins it, it, it makes it twice as big. So right now we're working in radiuses, not diameters. So the handle diameter is uh, about 0.115 inches. So we want the handle to be a little bit wider, but not too bulky. And 0.4 inches looks pretty reasonable. Uh, it's still gonna be a small file with a small handle, but it's it'll be much easier to grip. So 0.4 inches diameter and we want that as a radius. So we're gonna hit 0.4 divided by two. And it automatically does the math for us. And so that's the rough size of our handle. Let's go back to that. So that's the rough size of our handle right there. Um, now we wanna draw what that curve is gonna look like. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take a line. So sketch, line tool. And we're going to put a line across the bottom. I'm just going to go from across the bottom of our um, construction box. I'm going to hit escape to get out of that, to get out of the line tool. Escape will always get you out of the tool that you're in. And now let's put an, a line across the top. So I'm going to hit line again. Um, and I'm going to go across the top. I'm not going to start at the end this time, though, just to get some kind of more interesting shape in this tool. And so, again, I need to go all the way to the end there. And I'm going to connect it with an arc. So I like the three-point arc. I'm going to click the um, start point and then the end point. And I'm going to choose where to put the middle. 
Uh, that looks pretty good to me. Zoom in, that's kind of a nice rounded shape. And we'll go to the other end. And on this side, I'm going to take a line. I'm going to go to the line tool. I'm going to go up a little bit because we need room for the hole down the center for the handle to go in. And I'm going to go back to my um, arc tool, arc tool, and do the same thing again. There's other ways to do that, um, but this is pretty easy. And hit escape to get out of that tool. And you see how it goes that kind of salmon color? That means that we have an enclosed shape. That means we can revolve it, we can extrude it, and Fusion will be happy with us. So that would work. We could revolve that right now and um, put the hole in and have a, a functional handle. Let's make the shape a little bit more interesting. So we're going to go to Sketch. Uh, I'm going to do another arc this time. And I'm going to put in like a finger groove. Something to give it a little bit of grip, uh, or a thumb groove might be a more accurate description. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball that to about there. I'm gonna hit the escape button again, and sketch, trim. I'm gonna trim off this top piece here, and it's telling me that it removed the constraint, which is okay. I think it actually just trims my construction box, so I'm gonna press it one more time. There we go. And now it's fully um, trimmed out there. So that's our profile. Uh, it does kind of look like a screwdriver, which makes sense. Um, we're going to hit Stop Sketch. And now we're back in 3D land, except we still only have a two-dimensional shape. So like I said, we're going to use the Revolve tool to make this three-dimensional. So Create and then Revolve. So the first thing we're going to do is select a profile. So a profile is just a shape. Uh, it has to be closed, which means you have to have a, a loop. It, it has to be a circle. Well, not a circle, but it has to be a shape um, that encloses one area. So like if you were to dump water in that shape, it could not escape. Um, so we're going to click our profile and turn blue because we selected it. And we're going to go over here and we're going to click on axis. So this is what you're revolving the shape around. Um, this is the center of our wheel, in other words. And we're going to click. Um, we want to rotate about the center line here, because remember, that's where we designed it about. And there's our shape in three dimensions. Um, so that's a new body. It's going 360 degrees. That's good. So we're going to hit OK. And there's the start of our handle. But our handle needs a hole in it. So let's go back over here with the calipers. This measures as, there we go. There we go. This measures as uh, 0.115 inches. 115 inches. So we're going to rotate around, looking at the end of it here. I'm going to place another sketch right on the end. And we're going to make a circle. So sketch, circle, uh, circle from center, click on the center. And we said it was 0.115. Um, so that's exactly the size of the, whole, of the shaft, which we don't really quite want. Um, because we want to be able to slide this on. Oops, I probably should have gone back to that sooner. Uh, we want to be able to slide this onto into the handle. If they're exactly the right size, they won't fit. Um, we could do the math and do this right, but I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm probably going to glue this in anyway, so I'm just going to change it to one or 0.12 inches. So now our circle is a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit stop sketch. I'm going to hit the extrude tool. We're going to click on the center little circle there, and we're going to make this into a cut. Now you still notice the arrow is going that way, which is away from our uh, handle here. We want the hole in the handle. So I'm gonna just start dragging this that way and, and then change this dimension to negative, because remember, um, this is neg it's, 
it's in the opposite direction of the way that it wanted to go. So this becomes negative. So negative 2, uh, and that goes down there. That looks totally reasonable to me. And hit OK. So there is our handle. Um, it's not a work of art. It's not beautiful, but it only took 5 or 10 minutes to model. And we can 3D print this and have a working handle. So I'm going to do that. So the 3D print is done, and here is our part. It came out just like the model. It looks pretty good. It is um, still small, but it fits in the hand, um, and I think it will give me a little bit more leverage. Uh, there are a couple things you should notice, though. Um, I originally intended this handle to go all the way down the file. Um, Unfortunately, it is just too tight. Uh, when I just guessed on how big to make that hole, I guessed too small. Uh, you may also notice that my file is a little bit shorter than it was. That is because when the hole, when I realized the hole was too small, I thought I could just knock it farther on with a hammer. Uh, it turns out I shouldn't have done that, and I broke my file off. Uh, I'll probably grind this down and make it into a little uh, chisel or something along those lines. Um, but I have more files. I'm just going to um, make the hole a little bit bigger in the model and print it again. So nice thing about 3D printing, it's easy to just change the model and go back and fix your mistakes. You know, in another eight minutes, I can have a working handle. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I have another video about how to do extrusions in Fusion 360, and I plan on putting out more videos. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you.